Hello and welcome back to my channel for another Doctor Who collection update. Now this one's going to be a bit different to usual, usually I just do these videos at the end of every month, but this is a little special edition if you like, because it was my birthday the other day, the 30th of August, about a week ago at the time of recording, and naturally Doctor Who items made up a good percentage of the gifts I received. So rather than wait till the end of September to cover these items, I thought I'd do a special episode dedicated to them and to round up everything Doctor Who wise that I got for my birthday in 2021. So first of all, we have a couple of board games. We have this lovely piece from yesteryear, Doctor Who Battle for the Universe, uh, released in the 90s, I assume, from the logo. Not particularly au, au fait with this one, unlike the other one, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. But there is one thing that I did notice, uh, which is, if you'll just give me a second to open the box, and there are the instructions there. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Um, yeah, the thing about this, which I did actually recognize, and you might recognize now that I've opened up the box, is these rather curious cards which uh, have done the rounds on social media and places over the years uh, for good reason because for example you're there you've got an incarnation of the doctor that looks nothing like any of the incarnations we've seen on tv you've got canine he looks okay romana i mean what's going on there uh, ace fairly fairly good tegan completely off <laughs> And it just keeps going. I think the monsters from memory are, are meant to be a bit better. Lovely Daleks and, and Cybermen. Um, but yeah, some, some weird stuff. I mean, the Master there as well. Barusa. I mean, I know Barusa had a lot of faces played by lots of different actors across the classic series, but I don't think that was one of them. The Rani, sort of vaguely there, I guess. Morbius, that's anyone's guess. <laughs> and, and just other creatures as well. Ice warriors with pink on them. You get the idea. Um, these these cards, I think it's fair to say they didn't have the, the, the best likeness, especially for the human or humanoid characters. So that is something that I did notice about uh, this, this board game. Other than that, I'm not particularly familiar with it. I haven't had the chance to sort of play it yet. There's the, the board. It's the first time I've opened it up, actually, I think. Yeah, not sure how it works. If... You know, if you're watching this video and, and do know more about this one than me, then do let me know in the comments section. That would be lovely. Presumably some of my older viewers might have picked this one up at the time. But yeah, that's Battle for the Universe. A lovely addition to the collection. Not something I would have picked up myself, really. So that was a nice one to receive. And then I also received another board game alongside that one, which is one that I was a bit more familiar with, which was released during my lifetime. It is from the Matt Smith era, Series 5, Doctor Who... The Time Wars family board game with this gimmick down here about a flip board, which I, I had seen before and I'd seen the cover, but never seen this, never played it. So again, a lovely piece to receive, and especially because it's from that era, you know, it's a good part of my childhood and I'm sure a lot of the people's as well. There's the, the board in question with this flip thing. That's the wrong way around, isn't it? Let's try that again. There's the board with the flip thing which is like a separate piece in the middle. Pretty self-explanatory really but it can go on either side of the board and has certain repercussions for how you play the game. I have had the chance to play this one unlike the other one. I played it on on the day with some family members which uh, was an interesting experience for reasons I'll go into now. I mean namely the fact that you get these time continuum question cards as part of the game. If I can just get the other ones out as well. There we go. So yeah, I think there's, I don't know, maybe a hundred of these. They're all questions basically based around series five, which, uh, yeah, as I say, was interesting. Uh, I was okay on it, but I think it's safe to say that the other family members who played this with me were a bit of a disadvantage. I mean, just for example there, that's a fairly easy one about a weeping angel, what should you do, blink? But um, there is some, some weird stuff, like the colour of the grass in the hungry earth that, that means stuff's going on with Silurians or... Yeah, what is the first thing the Doctor says to Amy? Again, slightly obscure. And uh, it, it keeps on going. Things like, you know, Amy and Rory's wedding date. There is some stuff that you could get if you're a fan, to be fair. But there is also some strange stuff, as there always seems to be with these sorts of games that uh, even I wasn't particularly sure on. So they're all Series 5 based, all these time continuum question cards. 
You also get these uh, mission cards. Basically every player has one of these and it tells you what you have to collect and then where you have to go on the board. Uh, and once you've done all those things, you win. And the cards in question that you need to collect are these lovely uh, enemy cards. So you've got ones for the Daleks, Weeping Angels, uh, and the Silurians. I think that's all of them. And there's one for Davros as well somewhere. An interesting game for sure. Uh, with with quite sort of not particularly straightforward gameplay. You have to get used to it. Lots of different things involved, as I say. You know, answering the questions, collecting the cards, jumping around the board, and then having that weird thing in the middle flip across the board to stop you from going to certain places at different points in the game. But great stuff nevertheless. It was really fun to play that and just get a sense of what it was about. It was great to receive that. Great to receive both those board games. Uh, some really excellent additions to the collection. Then sort of linked to those, I guess, you could call this a sort of game of sorts. So certainly not a board game, but a game, a card game. It is the Series 11 Top Trumps, which I didn't own. I think I own every other set of Top Trumps apart from the purple series 3 one uh, and of course some of the other strange things like the Dalek tin it's like a sphere or something basically the weird ones that aren't in the actual plastic cases but yeah these are really nice too uh, I've put them into order so you've got the Doxy Yaz and Graham and Ryan at the front and then characters from different episodes in uh, in series 11 basically Tim Shaw, Grace, Angstrom, Elin etc, the TARDIS uh, really, really nice. I think particularly because we don't have any trading card games from this era, and we haven't had for quite a long time, uh, it's really nice actually to see these characters, you know, on cards. And I almost kind of have this urge to put these into a binder somewhere and, you know, collect them together like Battles in Time. Uh, really, really, really great stuff. Curiously, there were no characters from the Witchfinders, as you'll see just there. Yeah, we go straight from Twirly, and all the Kablam characters to uh, people from It Takes You Away. Not quite sure why that was. It does include resolution. Uh, so not quite sure if that was deliberate or just an oversight somewhere down the line. Uh, it's a shame to not see the Witchfinders included here. But nevertheless, yeah, I really, really love these. Really nice cards, great quality, you know, as ever with Top Trumps. And uh, really nice to be able to add these to the collection and put them alongside all the other sets that I own from previous seasons. Next we have a magazine, or bookazine strictly, from a few years back. It's the 50 Years Daleks bookazine with this uh, lovely gold shiny cover. The first one they released in that series, I believe, which was back in 2013, obviously for the 50th. There were three of them. There was this one, one about the companions, and one about the Doctor. And then that series sort of became the essential Doctor Who, which had the silver covers and they were still doing up until fairly recently, I think. Anyway, uh, not had the chance to read through this yet, but there's some great stuff inside. I can already tell from just flicking through. Lovely, lovely stuff all about the Daleks up until Asylum of the Daleks, of course, it only goes so far because of when this was made. But a lovely, lovely piece to own. Uh, I mean, these book scenes are always so great and so yeah I look forward to devouring that at some point when I get a second or indeed a rel perhaps I should say. Next we have two novelty items probably my favorite things that I received on the day actually two items that are sort of linked together as will become clear. The first one is this gorgeous ceramic TARDIS cookie jar really really nice piece this uh, it is licensed because I know that there are some other police box shaped things on the market. Like I've got a mug which uh, isn't licensed, isn't a Doctor Who thing, uh, which is a similar sort of design. But yeah, this is an official Doctor Who piece of merchandise and a lovely one at that. And as you'll be able to hear, if I just uh, take the lid off, there are some biscuits inside. Strangely, not as many packets in there now as there were on the day when I opened it up. Funny that, isn't it? But uh, yeah, that's the cookie jar. Let's just put that to one side. And then if you're familiar with the range, you might be able to guess what this next item is. It is a TARDIS teapot of the same design. Slightly smaller than the cookie jar. And I've got the lid, obviously, and the spout and the handle and everything. 
Uh, so that's really great as well. And I have tested this out. You'll be pleased to know I have drunk some tea that was made inside the TARDIS. So they are both absolutely lovely. They look great on display. They look great alongside each other. And I'm sure I'm going to get lots of use out of them in the years to come. Two very, very nice gifts there. A few slightly obscure items from yesteryear next. These are strange things called collectible mini standees. So essentially they are just like cardboard cutouts of characters, uh, just with this piece on the back that folds out and allows them to stand up. So we have the TARDIS there, a uh, sort of 80s Cyberman there, and then also uh, a Davros here from Genesis of the Daleks, which did come open. These ones didn't come open. I'm probably going to leave them in their packaging just because of that. But this one did come open, so I have given him a brief test, little run out. As I say, that's the piece that folds out and then sort of just allows him to stand up. Uh, nice enough pieces. More interesting, really, because they're from yesteryear, I suppose. And what's weird as well is the choice of characters in this job lot, because that's how they came you know, together in a job lot. A Genesis of the Daleks Davros and an Earthshock Cyberman, they might seem slightly familiar to you as they did to me when I opened this up. And that's because, of course, if you've watched my previous collection update, the one for August 2021, I did get figures of both those characters last month. A, a really weird coincidence that I've now got these representations of those very same characters as well. Very, very bizarre. And to finish off, we have a couple of completely bespoke items, completely unique. We have this fantastic wrapping paper with my name on and the TARDIS that my mum got made for me on Etsy, I think, or somewhere like that, custom made. Really, really cool. And it also came with, with uh, this sort of card representation of the same design as well. So that's really, really great to have. We have this card from my sister. Uh, with this lovely design with the 13th Doctor's top and braces and a bit of a trousers as well and the stripe going across on the, the happy birthday lettering as well. We have this super 3D card from my brother which includes the first 12 Doctors, Dalek and uh, the 13th Doctor's TARDIS there and again my name and my current age, 21. That's really really cool and it sort of stands up by itself and yeah it's a really really cool piece to have and then last but not least this fantastic card from my parents which has this lovely sort of laser cut presumably designed the TARDIS on the front and then when you open it up has a fantastic 3D TARDIS inside what a lovely lovely little piece that is really really cool and there we have it, everything Doctor Who related that I got for my birthday in 2021. A really great range of items, thanks a lot to my family for getting these for me. Some really nice additions to the collection here. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon for some more Doctor Who content, including another collection update proper at the end of September. So thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.